OK YouTubers, this is Joe from Itaian TV, another quick game of Interplanetary Eye Spy here. Now we're back to Ceres Dawn Mission and looking at Ahuna Mons, which is a, well, a large mountain, supposedly, on the surface of Ceres. And it's in lots of articles, there's lots of, uh, there's one here in the Mail Online. Mysterious pyramid on Ceres, of Ceres, up close. Stunning new images reveal three mile high mountain, has a strange glowing side. Yes, OK. Really good. Uh, it goes into quite detail actually, uh, some detail that article worth uh, having a look at. This one's also pretty cool, a bit shorter. Uh, this is from the Earth Sky website. And there's also some other images, and this is the colour version. This is a false colour version where they've added extra colours to it to show the different surface heights and everything like that. The elevation, that's an, basically an, uh, an elevation map. And we have this one, which is the main one we're going to be looking at, because this one shows better detail, I think, slightly. Um, so, right, there we have it. So, basically, I've got these up in a folder here. Let's get straight on with it, if my mouse will actually move properly. Thank you. And I've already taken some clips, to save a bit of time. And I've enhanced some of the clips. I'll show the raw image first, because um, it's very good anyway. It's, it's, it's in good detail. Let's just take my headphones off there a minute. Um, and this is a, a composite image made up of about 10, 8 or 10 images or so. And when you zoom in, you can really see some good detail here. And straight away, well, as soon as you look at this up close, what I spotted was this rather large square here with another square structure here. Um, just here, see? With a kind of right angle going on there. Very odd indeed. Uh, there seems to be what could be construed as intelligent structures here. Now, of course, I'm not saying this whole thing's an intelligent structure, but what it looks like to me is that there was, at some time in the very distant past, buildings on top of this thing. And there seems to be one here, a very large one here. Now, bear in mind that this is three miles high, uh, at its highest point, which is about here. So the the overall length of this, say so that's three, I suppose about a, over six miles long from end to end. Possibly almost seven miles there. Um, uh, so we're only seeing the much, much larger structures here, uh, but there may well be lots of smaller structures here w which are not visible at this level of resolution. Uh, but you can see this great big thing here and this particularly over here. But when you flip the image round, turn it round as I have done, um, it takes on a sort of different light altogether. I'll show the enhanced clip first because that will save time. Now I've added a colour filter to this and uh, just added contrast and colour filter, that's all I've done, nothing else. Um, basically, you can see this big square just here, with what looks like a big rectangle sort of structure here, with lines, a long line here, see that dark line? And then another square here, and a sort of rectangle there, I'm not really sure about that so much. But, you can, st you can see this what looks like a building here, just here, okay? Now, I've also done some, uh, where I turn it to negative, and this is even clearer, I think. You can really see the structures now. And this is a standard technique used by satellite uh, observers for, uh, for looking at uh, potential buried structures underground. Uh, archaeology, digital archaeology involves a lot of studying of, of uh, satellite images because they're, they're taken in near infrared and, and they do see some things that the naked eye don't see. And if you enhance the contrast, you're going to start seeing things that you don't necessarily see straight away. Uh, these are perfectly legitimate techniques that are, have been used for decades now. And there you have it. I mean, you can actually see a long straight wall-like structure here, like an outer wall, and a long one down here with what looks like a sort of T-shaped structure there. You have this angular-shaped thing here. But this bit was the bit that really caught my eye, this sort of dark rectangle here, and another one here. Now, what I'm going to do at the end of the video, I'll put some other highlighted, uh, some highlighted images of this, and I'll highlight these these rectangular structures just to really show you what I'm looking at here. I don't know if you can see what I'm seeing. Let's let's, let's, uh, let's have a look at this one again. It may be a little bit clearer in this one actually, and you can see that. Now that's what really says to me that there's something strange going on here. This long straight structure with multiple bits and parts to it. And when you look at the thing as a whole, you've got a long straight line going through here, you've got a straight line going up here and one there. They're all over the place. Um, 
is this uh, an ancient, ancient, ancient alien building that was possibly built billions or millions of years ago? It could be. But I think what this might be is a city structure, or what the remains of a city structure, that is now completely dilapidated. Uh, much like uh, the thing I showed in Antarctica on the recent uh, first episode of Ancient Aliens, the uh, so-called pyramid in Antarctica, or as I actually think it is, it's more like a, a, a very large um, citadel structure or alien base or ancient base of some sort that we're only seeing part of. And there may well be stuff underneath this. Um, this is only the top of the, the mountain we're seeing in any detail here. There may be there may be entrances into it, we don't know. Uh, let's have a look at some of the other things I've got here. Um, I've got the colour version over here. This just shows the different levels. There's no better detail in here, but it does kind of help in some ways because it isolates this shape. You can see a long straight line coming all the way along down here. And you can see this line here and this one here, probably a little bit clearer. And you've got what looks like a massive, massive building here. Now, this is approximately two kilometres across, much like the one I found in Antarctica. Um, just this end here, it's this bit here. Uh, so these are enormous structures. And if we had better detail, we would probably see a lot more. But this, to me, looks intelligent, at least partly so. Um, I could be wrong. Here we have a older version of the same area. This was taken back in 2015 from much further back. Um, so is isn't zoomed in so far, but you can see there's something very interesting going on. It's very, very bright. The, uh, the outer parts of the, the, the mountain here are very, very reflective indeed and may, and may contain some rather odd elements that we don't really understand. Uh, but the, the crater actually right next to it, below it here, is also very interesting. But you don't actually get to see that in, in its entirety in many of these images for some reason. And often when you do, it's kind of bleached out with no detail. So I do suspect that there's something in that crater. Um, much like some of the other videos I've showed, where uh, you can see uh, in this one, Ceres, multiple, uh, multi-pyramids and square craters. There's lots and lots of square structures on here. Um, multiple, what look like huge pyramids uh, or very, very large square structures. Um, so that's worth a look. There's Sarah's in closest detail yet, bright spots, latest images. Um, that's worth looking at because that shows Ocotra Crater, which is the famous one with the bright spot, in very good close detail. Much better than you'll see in most other videos, but this is much more up to date than many out there, although other people have done some pretty cool stuff as well. Uh, but my favourite one, and what seems to be slowly going viral, is this one here, Ceres Alien Base Discovered, domes and buildings up close. Now that um, is an unnamed crater, but which seems to have buildings in it, and they're very large indeed. And it's kind of taken in semi-profile, the picture, so you can see into the crater more naturally, rather than straight down onto it, uh, which gives it a very good perspective. And you can actually see buildings sticking up. You can actually see one right here where my cursor is. From even this small one, you can see it just there which is a very large building and there's loads of crazy stuff in there um here's the the uh video that was the, about the uh antarctic pyramid stroke alien base or whatever it's supposed to be in antarctica which was fe has featured on the latest series of ancient aliens so if you haven't watched that yet check it out i, I don't think it's been shown in the uk yet i think it starts around the 15th or 17th in the uk on the history channel it's already aired in the us uh, I think last week on the Friday and they will be up to Tonight will be up to episode two lucky them <laughs> They're there are about two weeks ahead of us in the UK and probably the rest of Europe as well. So There we go. So let's crack on with it. I'll, I'll quickly show you that again. Now I'll, I'll flick through these from the Raw image. Now, this is a raw clip Now you can clearly see it even in the raw image There's a huge square thing here and I'm going to flick through now and show you the different filters and you can, the different filters help you pick out different sort of detail and different shadows and then accentuate the shape slightly just by adding a bit more contrast. That's negative, obviously. That really shows this one here very well. This dark square in the middle here and these here really shows up this outline. I mean, this totally reminds me of the thing on, in Antarctica that I found. It's a very similar size and scale. Um, but taken from a very long way up. I mean, this is probably taken from 28,000 miles or something, but obviously the, uh, the Dawn mission satellite has a very powerful uh, telephoto, well, telescopic camera and can zoom in a hell of a long way. So this is why we're seeing it that in good detail like this. 
Um, but this structure here looks very rectangular now. You can see out, like a white outline around it now. It, it to me, looks artificial. Um, and then you can see it again. I mean, that, I really can't see how that is normal. And this especially, this right big right angle here, with another one here, I mean, that reeks of intelligent design to me. Um, I may be wrong, of course. I know also the crater next to it is very odd. It has some rather straight edges like this one. And there's something going on in this crater. I can't quite make it out. It really does depend on the angle of the light and, and at the time of day the, the uh, picture was taken. The, because obviously sometimes you want deeper shadows and, and uh, looking straight down on something like this, you don't always see the structures in their full glory because basically the, the shadows don't correspond. So hopefully we'll get some more images of this area um, and we will see more detail and more structures. There is also this image here which is uh, PIA 20552 uh, which also had some very strange stuff going on in it. This is a completely raw image and you can see how good quality these images are. They're TIFF images uh, but they're only about a megabyte each but they're, they are good quality and you can see a long straight line here and some kind of weird square kind of structure here. Now I will flip that round for you and put it in at the end like I would with all the other pi uh, pictures I've showed you. I'll show you close-ups right at the end of the video and I may add a few more in as well and, and do a few more clips as well just to give it a better overview. I also um, borrowed this video off of, off of NASA here. Uh, it's called Flight Over Ceres. I'll, I'll play a bit of it now. I'm not going to play all of it because uh, we haven't got time really. Um, this is the bit where it comes up to the mountain, the Huna Mons. Uh, I've turned the sound off on it because uh, I'll probably add my own music. <laughs> Ahuna Mons. Now, this is not a real flyover. This is te this is a mock-up done with images, and then the, the images have been sort of pasted together and made into a 3D model of, of uh, Ceres. And they've done this sort of mock-up flyover. And you can actually see the lines here where the images are joined. So this is not a real flyover. This is a this is a mock-up. Um, but it doesn't show it in any great detail because uh, often these things are heavily compressed down uh, to make the image make, make the images work together so you're actually losing a lot of detail when they do this but there was something else in one of these craters that, was, that caught my eye uh, a very very large square structure which looks very odd and I can't find it in an individual image I'll have to go through all my Sarah's images um, from the last year or so uh, six months or a year whatever it is and dig it up but if I do find it I'll put it in at the end of the video it's coming up about now uh, here we go uh, here we are. Now this is Yelodi or Yelode, how, however you say it. And as it comes round, you can look at this up here, as it spins round, keep your eye on this area, right here. Here it is. It's just flipped over. <laughs> You've got an almost perfect right angle here with a long straight line. Now this may be something to do with image distortion, where they've manipulated the images to, to make this flyover, globe flyover thing, this video. I don't know, but uh, it looks very straight to me. Um, but unfortunately, you don't get it. It doesn't get any real in real close. That's about as close as it gets. Just here, and you have all these lines coming out here, which look like kind of river outlets or or perhaps cracks in the uh, the mantlet or something like that. Who knows? But there's something going on in this one, and this is the largest crater on the planet, which is near the South Pole, I think. Uh, it's absolutely enormous. So the, the this may look small, this square structure, but this is probably about 10 miles across or something like that. It's something ridiculous. So I will see if I can find some close-ups of that. If not, I may come back to it on another day. So there was that. So there's lots of things still to be seen on Ceres. It's, um, it, it's throwing up a lot of anomalies, a lot more than other um, planetoids and moons. Uh, for, for its size, it's got a hell of a lot of interesting stuff on it. And I'm, I'm absolutely certain that there will be more to come on this one. So that was pretty much it folks, um, check out all the links below, uh, all the pages I've showed you and everything else, all the images will be linked up in the description so you can download them and everything else. So I'll quickly show you this map actually, now I don't know if you can actually read that, there's Okta Crater there, uh, Yolodi's down here which is this big sort of fairly vague looking crater, well I think it's the largest on the planet or at least one of them. Um, so there we have it, that sort of gives you a sort of idea of where they are. Uh, and what hemisphere they're on. So I'm sure this planet will throw up a lot more interesting things to come. 
and do check out Ancient Aliens if you haven't watched it yet. Uh, the next one is on uh, tonight in the US, probably airing about now. Um, and in the UK, I think it'll be on about a week and a half, which will be, out, will be about Mars. And I did give them a lot of information on Mars, with lots of pictures, so hopefully they would have used most of them. We shall see. Uh, you never know until you see the edit. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you soon.